Sure, so we bring them in the back door and then we stack them uh, on their own rack. We, we keep enough for one day at a time and uh, store them cold. We can't freeze oysters, so we store them as cold as possible uh, in a damp area. Uh, and then our oyster truckers every morning will go pick their par out of, that, uh, out of the walk-in, dump into our ice chiller, and start shucking away and getting ready for lunch and dinner service. So obviously for the Water Street Oyster Bar, it's kind of our number one seller here and what people, what we're famous for. So uh, on a broader sense than that, uh, they're like the keystone species for the lagoon systems here, uh, here especially, but all around the Gulf. So they're an indicator species, they build reefs, they, build, they, they are just extremely important for our ecosystem. Um, and they're delicious. <laughs> so, so it's very important for us to keep high quality, fresh product, and it also stems out to the redfish we sell and the swordfish we sell. So uh, they're very important to our area, they're very important to our local kind of cultural palate here in the seafood uh, ecosystem in Texas. So once the restaurant has taken the shell and sifted through it, made sure it's just the shell that remains put in the bins. We come by every couple of days and pick up a Water Street and a couple other restaurants that are locally around Corpus. And we'll take them out here to the port where we have a dump site as what's behind me. Um, and we'll dump these oysters. Usually we take about three or four bins at a time. And once we dump them, they sit here for about six months and it's a process called bleaching. Um, and it lets the oysters get aerated and cleans them out before we go ahead and put them back in the environment. I think it's been 15 years ago almost now, uh, we had a problem. So we have all this shell coming from the Gulf and it's heavy and wet and cumbersome to deal with and we ended up just throwing it in our dumpsters. So from our perspective, it was just expensive to deal with. You know, it, we pay per ton of other garbage we, uh, that we uh, produce on the block here and like I said, it's a number one seller so we're producing a lot of oyster shell. We didn't know and we didn't understand back then that it's like gold to put it back into that thing. It's the most important culture material uh, and most effective culture material for oysters to regrow on. So it's kind of a classic win-win situation where operationally it's effective for us. It only took a little bit of training to get us to separate it out from the trash and keep it ready for HRI. Then HRI goes and turns that into more oysters for us. So very symbiotic, very win-win uh, situation there. It's just a, it's a great benefit for both of us. I mean, the more shell that we can put back in the environment, the more oysters that restaurants will be able to have in the future to come. So it re really benefits the ecosystem, it benefits us, and it benefits the restaurants. Um, so they don't have to pay for that shell to just be thrown in a, into a dump site or a landfill or anything like that. You know, putting it back in the environment um, is very beneficial to, to everyone involved.